Hi, this is Callum from the technical support team at Appliances. Today, I'll be taking you through our simple to use failover solution and we'll be demonstrating how this would be set up. Before getting into the setup though, I'd like to just explain why DHCP failover is so key in today's network environments. Failover for any core network system, such as routers and switches, ensures that services are continuously available 24-7, 365 days a year, even in the case where physical failure of a device occurs. In the context of DHCP, any kind of physical DHCP server or link failure with no DHCP failover configured can result in a complete loss of communication to all network services as client devices will no longer have the ability to be provisioned a new IP address. With failover enabled between two DHCP servers, clients will be able to grab a new DHCP lease even in the case of a network or server failure. Now, we'll get into configuring and enabling DHCP failover. There are two options to choose from. We have active passive and active active. In active active mode, both DNS box devices are serving out DHCP leases to client devices at the same time. DHCP pools are split 50-50 between both DNS boxes. So for example, a 100 lease pool will be split into 50 leases on box one and 50 leases on box two. In active passive mode, one DNS box device will be actively serving out leases and the other device will be passive, not serving leases, but synchronizing lease information and configuration with the active device. If, for any reason, the active device goes down, then the passive device will take over the role of the active device. Configuring either of these modes is simple and the workflow is the same. Let me show you now. First off, you select one of your devices to be the primary DNS box 200. And this is the one that you will be configuring failover on. Then you enable failover, choose your mode, either active, passive or active, active. Type in your secondary DNS boxes IP address. Provide an admin account, which you've, you have created. And then type in the admin password of the secondary device. Click connect and then everything will be synchronized automatically to the backup device. Any DHCP changes now made on the primary device will be automatically synchronized to the secondary device. The status page also gives you a live view of the current failover status between the two devices. And that's failover on DNS box DHCP. Thank you for watching this short video about DHCP failover.